Hello everybody on this happy summer's day. Anyway, I'd like to introduce you to the Hairy Bikers Stoneware range. And Mighty Fine is too. It has a lovely, lovely interior with a terracotta finish. Now I've had these and I've been using them for about a year and I do love them. And um, yes, if it sounds like a commercial, it is. They're really good. They're dishwasher proof, they're oven proof, and they're great. And um, I'm cooking my Sunday lunch. And it's the perfect vehicle to propel that lunch to the table. But I shall now show you how I make my dauphinoise in my dish. Potato dauphinoise, possibly one of the most indulgent, calorie laden dishes, although you can see it hasn't affected me at all, that's known to mankind. Now, it's my way of doing dauphinoise. So French people will go, Zut à la! Woo! Anyway, this is what I'm doing it. It's just great. The Sunday lunch is going to be short with lamb. I've got all manner of nice things. Anyway, so first off, I butter my hairy bikers stoneware dish quite liberally. Now, don't be shy with the bad things in this. It does work. And, oh, that's the cheese. The potatoes go in, in a layer across the bottom. Sprinkling of salt, grind of pepper, some thyme, freshly thyme, like so. A little bit of cheese. Cheese it is optional. Um, Gruyere is generally recommended. This is a Swiss cheese called an Ardhasser, I believe. Now, in this pan, I've got some cream, some milk and some garlic, lots of garlic. If you don't like garlic, don't put garlic in. So let's a little label, and we ladle this garlicky, gorgeous creaminess over that layer of potatoes. And repeat. And they're gonna be fabulous. Carry on. But these dishes are really good. And as I said, I've ha I have had these a year at home. I've used them, I love them. Oven to table and the brill, in short. More time. And more of this creamy, delicate wondrousness. Grind of pepper, take your seasoning. I'm just going to put the rest of my creamy garlic. The reason I'm not putting it all over the top is I want the garlic to be dispersed, as you can see. Um, we like garlic in our house. My wife being a vampire from Romania, it's the only way I get any peace. And let's just go on. As I said, you could, you could do this in an interesting scallop pattern. Yeah, why? Life's too short. Final grinding pepper. That's my dog, you can hear growling. He's getting excited by the thought of Duff and Wild's potatoes too. By the way, don't give your dog Duff and Wild's potatoes, you will in fact kill it. Or him. Now dot with butter. Just now. Uh, Jim Rollish, get your hands in, get stuck in. Dot with butter. Yeah, lovely. Pucker, pucker. Like so, these are going to be decent. Remove the thyme and then the cheese. And all we do now is put these in a preheated oven about 160 for about an hour or until the potatoes are cooked through, golden and magnificent. And um, I'm out watering already, actually. I should Join me for Sunday lunch in about an hour, I reckon. Thank you. Oh, look at the Dauphin Wild's potatoes, and don't they look lovely nestled in the terracotta and blue of the hairy bike and stoneware pots? This is our Sunday lunch. So, with a shoulder of lamb, slow cook five hours, there were some cauliflower, green beans, and butter. Some cavallonero spinach, some balsamic beetroot, gravy, and homemade mint sauce. But I love the stoneware range. As I said, years of use in and out of the oven, 
and um, I think it looks really nice. Now you can buy it as a link on the hairybikers.com website or on our online shop. The address which will appear here. The there will be square, invest in the future. Buy the Hairy Biker Stormwear, also available in like a ready and black finish too. Thank you.